Hello class, I am Teresa Castillo and today we'll be focusing more on heroes um, for this video. Um, heroes can be someone that is famous or someone that we might just be close to, someone we grew up with or just admire. Um, but we all have one and you know, and I'm curious to see um, what all of your heroes are. You know, I'm looking at those videos. It's going to be exciting. Um, today, I wanted to talk about specific, specifically my heroes. Um, I say heroes because they are a team. They're my pastors. Um, my pastors, Daniel and Jessica Duran. They um, have been in my life for, you know, now a good amount of years. Um, and specifically, I wanted to mentioned that they are my heroes because they hold strong values and because they are great examples of how to be a Christian. You know, not the perfect Christian, uh, but how to be a true Christian. Um, my first example is of how great, um, how loving and accepting that they are, both of them. Um, I've been in church for you know, about half my life now. Grew, um, I went in whenever I was in my early teens. And when I first got into church, um, they always made it a point to talk to me, you know, to include me in things, always, um, you know, being that support and truly just being pastors. And the reality is that that's what it means to be a Christian, you know, to love those people, um, to love everybody, truly and to just be accepting of who they are. You know, they might not be what you think they should be when they first walk into a church, you know, but that's when, you know, God will start molding us. But throughout that process of all the transitions and all, you know, the changes that came into my own life, um, they were with me through all of that. And, you know, that's why I honor and I respect them and I love them both so much because of that. And my second example is, or my second reason for why they're my heroes is because they believe in me and they challenge me. Um, they've given me multiple opportunities, you know, in our church and it just shows, you know, how much they believe in me and they trust me by giving me such, like, even no matter how small it might look from the outside, it is such a huge role that they give and they trust me. And I've had the privilege and honor to serve my church and be involved with my church and like with the community, with the members, with the saints, with the leadership and all of that. So I'm truly just very honored to be a part of that church and like to be under them, under both of them. They challenge me to try new things and they're not, never satisfied with where I am. And, you know, they remind me that there's more out there, not just like in church and ministry, but in everything, you know, in my career, in my education, um, my relationships and my friendships and all of that to just keep pushing and um, to just, you know. And so both of those reasons are basically my um, reasons why they are my heroes um just as a quick recap first reason is because they are so loving and accepting and my second reason is they believe in me and they challenge me so much um to just keep pushing and both of these you know all of those qualities all those traits just show like how um how to truly like love people unconditionally and how and with those strong values that they hold they reflect in their life, you know, how to be a Christian and how to just love others, love God first, but truly love others. And I think that's really like what makes them, you know, my heroes and why I admire them so much. Um, thank you so much.